Hey y'all, so today I have swatches and comparisons for the Essie Bustling Bazaar Summer 2020 collection. This collection was inspired by the Bustling Bazaars of Morocco, according to Essie. It's a really pretty collection with some great colors that have good formulas. Sorry again for my voice, I still have some allergy stuff going on. But let's get into the swatches. First up, we have Spice It Up, which is described by Essie as a bold burnt red. I would say that's pretty accurate. There's not a whole lot of brown to this, but it's not like super bright classic red either. And here's this first coat. It actually covers really nicely in the first coat. You could probably get away with wearing it like this. And here's the second coat, which brings it completely opaque for me. So here is Spice It Up, two coats plus top coat. For comparisons, I have OPI Tell Me About It Stud and Kale Polish Magic City. Neither of these are quite dupes. To me, Tell Me About It Stud is more of a classic red and Magic City is much brighter. Next up we have Soak Up The Sun, which is described by Essie as a creamy and radiant coral. I guarantee you I pronounced that wrong, but I looked it up and there were like five different pronunciations for it, so I'm just gonna go with what the pun is. This covers really nicely on the first coat, but there are still some light spots. And it was completely opaque for me in two coats. This is Soak Up The Sun, two coats plus top coat. And again, I know that I'm pronouncing that wrong and I apologize. <laughs> for comparisons, I have OPI Crawfishing for a compliment and SC Souls on Fire. Definitely neither one of these are dupes. Souls on Fire is very neon and Crawfishing for a compliment is in the same kind of color range, maybe a little peachier, but definitely lighter. Next up we have Bustlin Bazaar, which is described by Essie as a dramatic dusty cyan blue. I absolutely love this color. Again, it covers really nicely in this first coat. Just a few little light spots in it still though. And it is opaque for me in two coats here. This is Bustling Bazaar, two coats plus top coat. First up for comparisons, I have Essie Viva Antigua and OPI My Dog Sled is a hybrid. I think Viva Antigua, the base of it, is pretty close to Bustling Bazaar, but not an exact dupe and the formula in it's definitely different. It has some shimmer in it. My Dog Sled is a hybrid is more green. And then we have Zoya Wednesday and Orly Vintage. Wednesday has more green to it also and is much more dusty and Vintage is way lighter, brighter of a blue. Next up we have Worth the Tassel, which is described by Essie as a bright and playful purple. I have to say the formulas in this collection were just fantastic. If you needed to or wanted to, you could definitely wear this in one coat. Here is Worth the Tassel, two coats plus top coat. For comparisons, I have OPI One Hecla of a Color and Kale Polish Charmed. Definitely no dupes, but these are the only things that I had that I thought would be even remotely close. One Hecla of a Color, completely different kind of purple, dusty, darker. Charmed is a shimmer polish and it's much lighter, brighter of a purple. Next up we have Caftan, which is described by Essie as a warm and earthy nude. I would call this kind of like either a caramel or a camel. Great coverage in one coat. You could definitely wear this one in one coat if you needed to. 
I did go ahead and do two, and I did two of my swatch pictures that I did also. I think this could be a one coater. So here is caftan two coats plus top coat. For this first comparison, I have SE Saffron the Move. This is from the Expressi line, and it's pretty similar. I would say if you have one, you probably don't need the other. Caftan seems like it has a little more orange, whereas Saffron is a little more on the brown side, but they're pretty similar. Then I have Kale Polish Caramello and uh, Virago Varnish The Hustle, which Virago Varnish is an indie brand. I don't think that they're making polish anymore. I don't think this is one you can get. I compare everything I can to Kale Polish Caramello because they haven't come out with a lights lacquer version of it yet. And people are always looking for a dupe for that one. And unfortunately, this isn't. And last but not least, we have Mosaic on Down, which is described by Essie as a gold with ultra fine glitter. And here is one coat. For the kind of polish that this is, it actually covers really evenly. Um, there's just some sparseness in between the glitters that make it not quite a one coater. And here is the second coat, which brings it to opacity for me. Here is Mosaic on Down, two coats plus top coat. For comparison, I have OPI Left My Yins and Ginza. I thought this would be a lot more similar than it is, and they are similar, but Left My Yins and Ginza is much more sparse in the glitter. I guess it doesn't have as much of a base to it as Mosaic on Down does, but they're the same kind of combination of glitters. That's all I have for today. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite polish in this collection was, if you picked any of these up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.